Right, muckers. Now you often read on social media how farmers are seen by activists and environmentalists as the enemy. They're the ones that take, take, take from the land and never put back. But if that was the case, we'd have vast areas of just barren ground that was stripped of all goodness, or areas that were just overgrown with sort of dead, dense woodland and scrub where nothing grows in the bottom. But where we are here in Norfolk, probably one of my most favourite places actually, is testament to farmers that have spent generations uh, caring and, you know, ensuring that the land that they farm continues to thrive. Without farmers, this would just all be overgrown with pretty tussock grass and just saplings coming up everywhere, which would kill the whole blanket here. In the summer and the spring, you can see various types of flora and fauna here. And the way they manage this is with cattle. They graze this all with uh, rare breed cattle, in this case, longhorns. And that's why we've got this wonderful area. This time of year, it's being rested, obviously, but as I said, come the spring and summer, they'll graze it. And that's what farmers do. Why wouldn't they? You know, the, the, their whole purpose is to keep things moving for future generations, to keep providing food, but also to providing areas of, like this, natural beauty. But that happens not just here in the UK, it happens all over the world. And in the video you're gonna see, we're gonna be looking at some tires, some GRIs fitted to a FEN 828. And the nice thing is though, GRI are farmers basically, who look after their farmers who run the rubber plantations. But they're always investing for the future. So you've got farmers helping farmers to produce rubber, which at the end of the day helps our farmers because it goes on the tractors. Anyway, let's have a look at this fen. So, the tractor in question is owned by an old mate of mine, Alan. Um, now, Alan, I can remember when you had that Ford 8210. That's a few years ago, wasn't it? That was a long time ago, yeah. But that was one of the nicest 8210s around. Now, you had that a few years, didn't you? We did, yeah. We had it time from 87 until 94. Yeah, so you got your money's worth out of it. Yeah. And then you went to... We went to John Deere after that. What sort was that? We John Deere 6800. Another good tractor. Brilliant tractor. Never put a spanner on it. Really? Really good tractor, yeah. So, how many hours have you got on this fence? What year is it? That's 2012. Right. And we've got 8,700 plus hours on it. Really? Yeah. Original okay. tyres. These are the original tyres? Yeah. Original tires, yeah. Original tires, yeah. So they've done you well. Really well, yeah. But yeah. it's time for a change. That is. We've noticed when we're drilling, um, on loose soil, you can feel wheel slip now. Yeah. Even in good conditions, you can feel the wheel slip. Yeah, and you've had the best out of them, us. You know, one yeah. of those things that's got to come to an end at some point. Yeah. So there we are. Um, but you like the look of the new GRI. Yeah. Um, and obviously, price comes into it as well, doesn't it? That does. You know, yeah. Uh, yeah. because, you know, as I said, a fairly high hour tractor, it's getting up that way. You've got to look at weighing up what you invest back into it, you know, yeah. how much longer yeah. you're going to keep and whatever. That's a, a big yeah. consideration. Uh, GRI are pitching uh, their tyres, um, I think, at the market, at the, right, at the right position to offer good value but still very high quality. So uh, yeah, that's what you've gone for. So these are going to come off. Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> the set of GRIs are going to go on. Yeah. Right. Well, let's get man. get our man of the moment in there, Dan.
Right, so we've now got four GRIs on the Fend. And you'll recognise this man, obviously this is Josh from RH Claydens. And uh, you helped us very kindly last time when we did the Ford 3000. And uh, so yeah, you read the comments as well about people asking yeah. about bigger sizes. Yep. Uh, so Josh has obviously come here today. I mean, I mean Dan, has taken all that time and effort with his hair, you know, to do gels and comb, and you've done yours with a normal little sander. Yep. But thank I, you for that. I like to keep it tight. Yeah, and I appreciate the, uh, the input. Yep. But, uh, yeah. So, anyway, so, Josh, um, like you said, we looked at these last time, we talked about the bigger tyres, and yeah, they do do them. It is the proof. Uh, Alan, they're on your tractor. What do you reckon, first impression? Yep. Look pretty good. They do look good, don't they? The proof will be in the pudding. When this we're is the thing. And this is what we're going to try and do now. So, you know, just purely out of interest, I want to see what these do as they wear, they perform, how they just how they are and how they ride. So I'm going to keep coming along now throughout this year. I'll film it so you guys can see it. And we'll speak to Alan and whatever and get Josh along as well at some, you know, some midpoint. We can have a look at it and see how they are actually performing. But first impressions they do look yep, good. They do look good, yeah. You know. Yeah. But as we said, proof is in the pudding. And that's what you're gonna do, you're gonna put them to the test. Well we'll run them at sixty five K. Yeah. Twenty mile an hour as they say. Yeah, it's twenty mile an hour that's right, twenty mile an hour. That's right, that's, that's what it is. Route. Yeah. And um, we'll see how they behave. Yeah. You've been running the these same tires. These are the ones you said you had in Ireland. You've had them over two years now. Yeah, yeah they, again, this, this product has been available over in Ireland for about three years, hasn't it? It's been over, I think, now three years, I think, is the, the, the whole time it's been out yeah. there. So we had it in Ireland for two years before we launched it in the UK. These radials have been out there blowing around the fields in Ireland for a good couple of years with no issues. They're just getting more popular, bigger demand. Just keep working. Well. Wow. That's good. So uh, yeah, let's see what you say. So that's you know, you know. That's it. That's it. Yeah. yeah. That's what that's what yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, your main thing, and I just think people know, you, you do a lot of road work, don't you? We Carting do, and yeah. stuff. Yeah. But you do drilling and your ploughing and whatever else, don't you? As well. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we were drilling yesterday. You know. Yeah. yeah. We, we just say we did think yesterday the tyres are getting down because you could feel the tractor losing traction. On those old tires, yeah, they've, they've had the best out of them, haven't they? Let's yeah. face it, 8,000 hours on a set of tires is good. That's a good result. You know. Right, so these are the GRI Green XLR. Yes. So that's this top chart. But they're very big on this green thing, aren't they? They are. It's, it's a, it's the big thing for GRI is the reinvestment in farms. Um, farmers for farming, if you like. Um, they start right at the rubber production. They support the local rubber, rubber production in Indonesia. Um, they actually fund the replacement of the trees as they die out. See now, we all hear in the bloody social media and everywhere you look now about oh green and renewables and like. I know it's a good thing. We all know it's a good thing, but you kind of get fed up for hearing about it. But this is the difference with this. You know, as, as Josh had just said, the whole thing behind GRI is they are farmers for farmers. So they are helping yep. the people that they get supplied their rubber you know obviously you've got rubber plantations and whatever and they're helping them uh keep to be sustainable aren't they and carry Absolutely. on because with rubber they've only got a, i don't know they've got a, a rubber tree's got a lifespan yeah, it's hasn't it 12 to 14 years i believe a production life right yeah. and what's been happening in the past you know since tires have been made is that once they die off, they basically just clear the land, and it, a lot of the time it's barren or just goes, you know, back and overgrown. But they're actually clearing these trees once they've done their time and replanting yeah. and they're reinvesting. Plus, and these are the bits I like, uh, you know, the people that are working on these places and living around there, you know, families and that, whatever, uh, obviously, you know, isn't in the middle of London. It is very remote, isn't it? And we, things we take for granted, such as clean water. Well, these guys are actually reinvesting and making sure that these people in these communities are getting clean, fresh water, aren't they? Yeah, it's the water recycling, the water reuse for farmers, so they're catching and using every bit of it as well. So it makes... For water, irrigation and yeah, stuff yeah, like that. They're all of that. You know. Their whole ethos is to support the farmers and their families. 
to, to educate, to provide education. And that is, that is good, isn't it? It's a brilliant yeah. message. It, they really are one of the, the sort of leading companies in that respect. I mean, I think True sustainability. The, the other thing that I really did like, though, but they are they're investing in schools and education for the kids of these people that work on these plantations. Yeah. And that's, you know, great for the future. So it isn't just one of these all, you know, lovey-dovey, you know, huggy things. Oh, yes. Yeah, they really are making a difference. Stuff that we take for granted. And I like that, but there we are. So that's what's behind GRI. And again, I'll, I'll you know, uh, be looking at some of the, the projects that they do, you know, later on in the future. Right, so this is now, well, within a few days, six months later on. And um, it was about early June we fitted these tyres, wasn't it? Yes, it was, yeah. And um, what have you been up to since then? Um, we went straight on the rye, yeah. straight on the roadwork, um, dragging a 22 ton capacity trailer, yeah. carting the rye, straight off the rye straight into the bailing, dragging a big square baler, and then literally straight off that, <laughs> straight onto the maze trailer. So, so how haven't many, stopped. well yeah, that, I mean, you, you literally haven't stopped, have you? How many bales you done this year? Uh, just shy of 10,000. <sighs> so you've done a few then? Yeah. Um, <laughs> right, which is good. Uh, so you've done 10,000, how many hours do you reckon you put on these tyres since we were here? Um, I would say about 700, six, 700. Really? Yeah. And a lot of that being road work. A lot of that is road work, yep. Um, yeah, you ain't stopped. No. <laughs> you haven't no, stopped. We ain't. No, we So, all right, that's fine. So you've been keeping it busy and that's brilliant. But at the end of the day, how have you find the, you know, been finding the tyres? What yeah, have they been like? They're really well. Yep. Yeah? They're probably a little noisy. Right. But that might be just because I got the tyre pressures high. I do. You like, do run them high, don't you? We I should do say run that. High. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we haven't done a test and dropped them down to silly numbers to see no. if that make them any quieter. We're best best, best left where they are. They well, you know what okay. you're doing, don't you? And that's the thing is, you're happy with them like that, aren't you? Because you say yeah. a lot of road work. There's no know. end of road work, and they're a comfy track to sit in. So yeah. Just so you're a right. little bit of noise. Yeah. Turn the radio up one more percent, and uh, that's gone. That's gone. No, it, no problem. <laughs> no problem. The main thing is how you found them for grip. Really good. Yeah, yeah. Um, we've pulled foragers and other tractors and trailers out with it. Okay, um, right. Uh, why I was the only one that didn't get stuck on the marshes. Really? Um, which was quite an achievement. That's, that's yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> with the biggest trailer. Of course. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, we came off one marsh, and I heard on the radio the guy saying we better not put as much in as we built in Owls. He nearly didn't get off the marsh. Oh but, right. But I did make it. And um, ah. yeah, I left a fair rut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet, yeah. I bet. Yeah, I left a couple of good marks. Uh, your lad's got an 820 fent, hasn't he? He has, yeah. And I see that the tyres are getting down on that. So, money where your mouth is, time. If you were going to change the tyres on that other one when they come up for renewal, would you fit a set of GRIs? Definitely. You yeah. would? Without, without any hesitation. Oh, good. Yeah, definitely. They're good tyre. They seem well built, strong tyre. Yeah. And they seem they do seem to pull. So there we go. Um, and I think that that shows just you know a very positive light for once on farming in general. You know both here and abroad. Um, you know, like I said, people go for a walk and they see, oh, it's just wonderful, all this lovely countryside. They don't think that, you know, without farming and without the, the, the experience and management that's, that's um, involved, they wouldn't get all these lovely, it'd just be overgrown scrub. And, you know, uh, again, other areas of the world, it's nice to see how the, the guys on the rubber plantations, they're, they're having... Um, investment put into them for their families and their future and that then helps you know as I said their rubber plantations that rubber goes into the you know the uh, production of tyres those tyres 
apart from the shoe, let's just say our tractors and you know and tractors across the world and that continues that circle you know so it's really good uh, but the thing is I think especially in this country um, you know PR within farming you know and from the public perception is, is terrible because a lot of these anti-farming you know brigades and groups and these they're, they're all agenda driven let's, let's it's not about the the environment it's all about being agenda driven and they have millions pumped into them they, they have millions spent on them and um, you know whereas PR and farming really doesn't not on the scale of that so it's always an uphill struggle and to be fair the PR that we do get um, that's right the PR that we do get in this country uh, for farming is as about as successful and positive as somebody trying to hold a you know come and lick a sheet of asbestos day um so it's it's really not not that good at all but anyway hopefully that has shown uh farming in, in a in a completely different light that, that investment is always put in and it's not just about the the bottom dollar you know Things such as the, the you know wetland schemes and that yes they they had help and funding originally a lot of them now continue when the funding's been withdrawn because the farmers want to see those benefits those natural benefits and the same within the you know the, the rubber plantations you know now talking of positive PR muckers right while I was filming that with GRI over the last six months um, they did this. Now, I've done some wonderful things since I've been doing YouTube and I've been to some wonderful places, but I think that probably tops it all. And it's not for me, that's for you, that's for us, all of us. All of us that have supported this channel, all of you that have, have helped it grow, and you know, so that, that it's got to the point where companies such as GRI and all that want to work with me on this channel, that's down to you. And so, because of that, they've dedicated a rubber plantation to us in Sri Lanka. So the next time some activist or somebody tells you, you know, about how bad farming is and, you know, what are you doing to help the planet? You can tell them. You, we can't change the world, not in one big lump, but we can alter our little corner of it. And that's what we're doing. And that plantation there, right? That's that's for us. That's because of you lot, as I said, that have helped this channel grow. And so somewhere in a plantation in Sri Lanka, we're doing that. We're helping, we're helping families, farming families, right? To get clean water, to get a living, and to get their children educated, right? And in turn, we're then getting rubber to go on the tires for our tractors. And in return of that, we're then farming, producing food, looking after natural environments and whatever over here. And so the circle continues, all right? So, so be proud. I Honestly, I can't tell you how... Uh, it's brilliant. I just love that. When they sent me that picture, that was it, brilliant. So as I said, be very proud of yourselves for supporting this channel. And uh, yeah, as I said, we can just change our little bit, of our little corner of the world. Um, so that's, that's, for me, this whole video thing, that's what it's about. That just little things like that. Then, then you know you are doing something in the right direction. Now, muckers, question time. Now, if you follow me on the other channel, which is Talking Point, we're gonna do with George, um, you'll know that recently we've been doing podcasts. If you don't know what podcasts are, they're a bit of a mix between a video show and a radio show. George, you put your hat on and then you... You can't put your hat on. There you on. go. Uh, that looks all right, doesn't it? I'm after Sean likes it. Well, hello everybody. If you haven't already guessed, uh, George and I are back. Look, when you can't often you know, watch a video because you're driving or you're at work or whatever, you just pop play and, and although there's obviously video of the tours in the, the um, studio sort of thing, um, you just listen to us running on and answering questions and stuff like that. And um, anyway, so while we're doing that, we often talk about various subjects and we answer some questions that people have asked us. So this week's question time, muckers, is over to you. 
You ask us a question, put it in the old squid pit below in the comments section and we'll pick out a couple of the best ones and on the next talking point, um, yeah, we'll, we'll answer it. And I'll also put a link to talking point in the podcast below this video in the description uh, box. Now, talking of Saunders, Mate, that was suspension work there, mate. Yeah, I did. Now, for those of you that are interested in how suspension cab, suspension axle, suspension that has progressed over the years, George here has got a video. And I'll put the link to his video at the end of this one and also in the description box below here. So, go and have a look at that. And um, also, uh, Kimberly's put out a new video on uh, piping up a new remote uh, compressor airline system and the Fud Weasel's got one out on the 590 and I'll put the, the links to both those videos uh, in the description box again below this video. So there we go muckers, um, like I said, uh, I just, it's something a bit different but I just think we just needed a bit more of a positive spin, we've got so much, so much down news all the while, so much poor and negative news all the while. I just thought that was just a, a nice thing, something to show, you know, the bigger picture. Um, everybody's always chipping away at farmers, but you know, without farming, I don't know. <laughs> it would end very, very quickly. But uh, like I say, you know, uh, and don't forget to give, uh, not just this video, get this week, Give yourselves a big thumbs up. All of you that have supported this channel all the way through and, and this video, give yourselves a thumbs up because as I said, we've got our own little area in Sri Lanka where we're doing more good than we can ever imagine. To us, it's just like, ah, oh, that's nice. To them, it's a way of life. And we're, we're part of that. We're, we're actually shaping that. And that's, that's impressive, Marcus. So yeah, give yourselves in this video a thumbs up this week. Yes, is it? Is that, that, that time again, is it? Is that what you say, is it? So, Marcus, looks like it's that time again. But like I said, a bit more of a different but positive video this week. And you should be proud of yourselves, all of you. So, until the next one, do well. <laughs>